So I'm Miss Marguerite at Subbase Library, and we are so delighted to offer uh, Nappy's Puppets with his show as our opener to our summer reading program, Reading Colors Your World. Please make sure that you go to subbasenewlondon.beanstack.org to sign up for summer reading. And now I'd like to introduce Jim Nappy, our host. Hi, everybody. How are you? It's nice to see you here. I'm going to do something that is called Spotlight. Oh, hello, me, me, me. I'm the handsome one, and that's why I'm at the biggest part of the screen. Hi. Uh, normally, I don't talk to people before the show, but I guess I will do this because we're doing things a little bit different these ways. My name is Jim Napolitano. My friends call me Nappy. That's my nickname is short for Napolitano, and it's the name of my puppet company, Nappy's Puppets. Today, I'm going to do a shadow puppet show that's called Father Goose's Tales. Now, you may have heard of Mother Goose and all the nursery rhymes that she tells, but today's show is about father goose and 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 the idea is that mother goose is on vacation and told father goose to tell the stories but father goose doesn't know the stories and mixes them all up so there'll be a lot of really what we call fractured fairy tale type nursery rhymes stories and songs and i hope that you will like them and enjoy them and sing them all the time so we're going to switch over to the front camera and i'll say see you in a little bit oh there we go and then I'm going to turn on the proper shadow light instead of all these fairy pretty lights. Let's try it like this. Kaboom. Oh, yes. You see? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Good night, the monkeys. Sleep tight, the monkeys, and don't jump on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed <laughs> good night the monkeys sleep tight the monkeys don't let the bed bugs bite the monkeys and don't jump on the bed three little monkeys Monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good night, the monkeys. Sleep tight, the monkeys. And don't jump on the bed. Hmm. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. A mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. And I mean it too. Good night, the monkey. Sleepy tight, the monkey. And don't jump on your... Oh, never mind. You're just going to do it anyway. Good night, the monkey. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on... Hey, wait a minute. There really are no more monkeys jumping on this bed. Well, 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 you know what that means, don't you? Um, no, what does that mean? Well, it means that there's plenty of room for me. Jump on the bed. Woo -hoo -hoo. Jumping on the bed, jumping on the bed, jumping on the bed, jumping on the... Oh, my goodness! 
Somebody call me a doctor. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, and like that. I think that's how it goes. Now, next part of the show is something very important. I call it cleaning up. And boys and girls, you know, you have to clean up when you're done playing with your thing. You might hear a big kaboom when I'm doing this, but that don't worry. That's just me cleaning up the monkeys. So here we are doing the one about the guy named Jack. Do you know a nursery rhyme about Jack? I will give you a hint. Let's see if I can do this here like that. Yes, that's it. You know that one? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the yeah. candlestick. Uh, you don't yeah, that's right. Jack, jump over. You don't have to help if you don't want to. I'm just going to okay. speak rhetorically. I wish there were more people here, you guys. All right, here we go. Jack, be nimble. Hoo that's nimble. You see, that's very nimble. Hoo Backflip. That's it. Jack, be quick. Boom. Jack, jump over the candle. No, no, I'm not jumping over this thing. It's on fire. I don't play with fire. That's not a good idea. But I got an idea like this. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Cha, cha, cha. Okay, now I blow out the candle. One, two, three. <gasps> and then I jump over like this. Wahoo. Yahoo. Boo yep, that's how it goes. Jack, be nimble. I do it like this instead. That looks much better. Thank you. Oh, I, I know I'm supposed to clean up, but I have to keep Jack close by because he comes back. You know why? There are lots of stories about Jack. So many nursery rhymes about Jack. We're going to see some more in a minute. But first, I'm going to do a nerm. I'm going to do a song. And I wonder if you can guess the name of the song once you see all of the scenery, but don't guess yet. That's not all of the scenery. That's only some of the scenery and here comes some more of the scenery but don't guess yet that's not all of it oh here comes all of the scenery in my hands hello how are you so now the name of the song is what you see right there so do you see a tree and what is on the tree is is apples yes and what color are the apples green yeah, that's the name of this song. It is called The Green Apple Tree. Oh, I had a rooster and the rooster pleased me. I fed my rooster by the green apple tree. My own rooster said cock a doodle do de do de le do de le do de le do. I had a piggy and the piggy pleased me i fed my piggy by the green apple tree my old piggy said oink 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 and stand up straight piggy and my okay that's good enough and my old rooster said cock a doodle do de do the lead do the lead do the lead do i had a moo cow and the moo cow pleased me. I fed my moo cow by the green apple tree. My, oh, the moo cow said, Moo. Right? That's how a cow goes. My old piggy said, Oink, 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 oink. And my piggy, what are you doing, piggy? You're embarrassing me so much. There you go. And my old rooster said, cock a doo 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 do 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 I had a horsey and a piggy. Okay, piggy, you're killing me. You're going to be baking me for no. I had a horsey and a horse pleased me. I fed my horsey by the green apple tree. My old horsey said, nay. My old moo cow said, moo. My old piggy said, oink, 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 oink. And my old rooster said, cock a doodle doo, de do, de le do, de le do, de le do. I had a little sheep, and the sheep pleased me. I fed my sheep by the green apple tree. My old sheep said, Burr. my old horsey said, 
<laughs> my only moo cow said moo. my old piggy said oink 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 and my old rooster said cock a doodle do they do the lead do the lead do the lead do okay we're almost done hang on i had a baby and the baby pleased me I fed my baby by the green apple tree. My sweet baby said, <laughs> My old sheep said, <laughs> My old horsey said, <laughs> My old moo cow said, <laughs> And my old piggy said, Oink, 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 oink. And my own rooster said, cock a doodle 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 That is an old Appalachian folk song. And I know it's not nursery rhyme, but it's pretty good. So I thought I would I put it in. I got another song. I think you will know it. I'll get ready to do it right after I clean it up. <laughs> it's got a little special fancy, fancy screen. So I'm going to put that up. Good. That worked. La, 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 la. I am singing non-copywritten song. Da, 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 da. All right. Here we go. This is a song about a lady with very unusual appetite. I can't stop yawning. Must be nap time. <laughs> Blah. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a spider. <laughs> It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a. How absurd she swallowed a bird. She swallowed a bird to catch a spider. It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed a spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a. Imagine that she swallowed the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. I swallowed the bird to catch the spider. It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a. What a hog. She swallowed a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. I swallowed the cat to catch the. Where did the birdie go? Oh. Swallow the bird to catch the spider. They wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a. She opened the her throat and then down went the goat. She. Swallowed the goat to catch the dog. I swallowed the dog to catch the 
in what is that? Oh, cat. So I let the cat to catch the bird. So I let the bird to catch him. She wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a. I don't know how, but she swallowed the cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the goat, and swallowed the goat to catch the dog, swallowed the dog to catch the cat, swallowed the cat to catch the bird, swallowed the bird to catch the. Oh, what the? <laughs> I don't think that's the right one. No, I don't think so either. Swallowed that thing to catch this thing. Did that thing, did the other thing, then it did it one more time. Swallowed the spider to catch the. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a. Gulp. Horse. Oh. She's dead, of course. <laughs> now, don't worry, okay? I know some people get uh, a little agitated at the possibility of what I just said, but don't worry, she's not really dead, right? Because she's a puppet and she's not real. Puppets aren't real. Did you know that? Some people don't know. Puppets are pretend. Look, here she is right here. I'm going to show you a little bit how I made her and how you can maybe make your own shadow puppet. Now, this puppet is kind of big, but she's only in three pieces. First piece, I drew her all the body, all the top to bottom with no mouth. And then I drew the second piece that is her mouth. You see? See the mouth? Ba, ba, ba. Now, on the mouth, there's a rod that goes down through a kind of straw or tube. And at the end of it is a ring with a string. And when I pull that down, her mouth goes down. And when I let go, kaboing, her mouth goes up because of this elastic thread right here. Now, the third part is where I cut out the hole and she was eating the things to see inside her stomach. And then I just use a piece of cardboard and I covered up the hole with a piece of cardboard and I use this stuff. It's called tape. It's very good stuff. I don't know if you've never heard of it or not, but tape I put on there and then I get it to open with the control rod, like, um, like a book, you know, or like a, a drawbridge. Now you can make shadow puppets too, and you don't need a lot of fancy materials. You can make shadow puppets from cardboard, and that's a great thing, excuse me for the cleanup, because cardboard is free, and you can get cardboard that works really well from cereal boxes or cookie boxes. Let me see what I got going on over here. Okay, <laughs> off stage, off stage, it should have been on stage. This one is empty. What the? Okay. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's see. What do I got over here? In the secret. Oh, here's toily tea paper. <laughs> this is my friend, Grant Bacchiato. He does a character called toily tea paper. So in this case, I drew on a nice piece of cardstock, but you can draw your shape on cardboard. And then you get a big person to help you cut out your piece. Maybe use markers to do that, to draw it in. And then maybe you get a double straw. It's a straight straw and a bendy straw. And you tape it to the puppet so that you can move the puppet by turning or move the puppet by moving. And then you have a shadow puppet, something to block the light. Huh. Da, 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 da. Then you take a box if you want to, and you cut out the bottom of the box, and then you put some just regular paper on the box. And then you have a shadow screen. The audience looks down the top of the box, and maybe you use a fancy, like mine, is a flashlight. Ooh, it's my fanciest flashlight I have. And so I use that on the shadow screen. <laughs> I never worked this part out very well. I need, uh, oh, wait, I think I got it. I just put one of those crazy rings on that. I got the ring thing so I can put it on my finger, maybe, and do both. 
Nope. Mm. Don't use your mouth as a tool. All right, ready? Ta-da! Did you see it? Because I couldn't see it very well. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to make a screen. Maybe you have lights that are on where you are at nighttime and the lights go on to the wall or the ceiling. And then you could just take your shadow puppet and see if you could project it onto the ceiling. And then you can make shadow puppets for fun and profit, but mostly fun, in my opinion, uh, and experience. So um, you can also just use toys that look really cool. You don't have to cut out your own shadow puppet and put a straw on it. Just go get a toy and see what that looks like. Maybe you could show me your shadow puppet show sometime. I'd like to see it. Or, or you could do one for the library. Take a part of a story and bring that little part of the story to life. So easy, so fun. Maybe you can try it. Now I want to go back to the front of the screen and turn off this lights and clean up this. Because I want to do some more. Do you want to see some more? If you want to see some more, great. And if you don't, just close your eyes, I guess. That's how you don't have to see anymore. You don't have to listen to it, I guess. All right, this is the one about a nursery rhyme about Wee Willy Winky. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how it goes, though. Oof, I got to fix that up. Uh, Wee Willy Winky, let's see. Wee Willy Winky ran through the town. He ran up the stairs, and he ran down the stairs in his nightgown. Yeah, that's a wee willy winky ran through the town, upstairs, downstairs. Oh, yeah. He was winking, wink, wink, wink. Get it? Because his name is Wee Willy Winky. He was winking. And to be perfectly honest, he was weeing everywhere. See that? Oh, I got a little problem. I got to go wee. On the count of three, I'm going to go wee. One, two, three. Wee! See that? Like that. Wee! Wee, wee, wee. Um, all, all the way home is how I think it goes. That's all right. Now, here there is one about the guy named Jack. And a lot of kids say that they know this one about Jack, but I find out that they don't always know all of it. So I'm just going to go over this part here and come back to the backstage. <laughs> now, if you know the Jack one, you can say it with me. It is Jack and Jill. But just remember, there's two parts to it. So first part, you probably know. You can say it with me. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch the pail of water. And Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Then up Jack got. Do you know the second verse? Up Jack got and with a jaunt as fast as he could caper to old Nurse Dob, who fixed his knob with vinegar and brown paper. Let me see if I can sneak up my camera without showing you all the spiders on my ceiling in the basement. There we go. Oh, look at that light. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, Jack fell down. He got the boo-boo on his head and he ran to the nurse and the nurse gave him a band-aid, except they have not invented the band-aids yet. So instead of the band-aids, they're using vinegar and brown paper. I don't know why. That's just what they do. So now I will tell you this nursery rhyme that is about Jack and Jill. Doo -doo -doo. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch the pail of water, but Jack fell down. Oh, ee, ow, owie, oh, oh, oh. And he broke his crown. And Jill, ha, 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 came tumbling after. Then up Jack got, and with a jot, as fast as he could caper, to old Nurse Dob, who fixed his knob with vinegar and brown paper. Send in the next patient, please. What is your name? My name is Jack. What's your problem, Jack? Well, I think I got a broken crown. What are you talking about, a broken crown? I don't know what you mean. Well, I mean like this. Wow, that's a broken crown, all right. Wow, wow, wow. Let me see that again. Wow. All right, we got to keep the germs out of here, buddy. So lean on down. There we go. This is going to sting a little bit. Sorry for that. This is the vinegar. Blah, 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 blah. Now for the hard part. It's brown paper. Don't be nervous. 
Don't be scared. I just got put on a brown paper there like that. How do you feel now? Yeah, that's that's the way it goes. Right. So perfect. Now, <laughs> I want to tell you a story about a singing chick. And this one is called, well, it's called a singing chick. By uh, It's just the way it goes. It's easy for me to remember. And I like that part a lot. So <clears throat> on a warm spring day, uh -oh, where's my eggy? Oh, nuts. All right. We have a substitution. On a warm spring day out of the farmyard and into the forest, rolled a chicken's egg that landed in the forest with a crack. And out of the chicken eggy came this little chick. And the chick was so happy to be out of the egg, the chick sang a song like, sky is so blue, the sun is so yellow, the trees are so green, and I'm a happy fellow. Peep, 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 peter peep, 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 peep. When all of a sudden from out of the woods to see what all this peeping was, came this guy right here. Oh, hello, fox. Oh, hello, lunch, said the fox. And then he ate the chick up for lunch with a big gobble, gobble. He went gobble, 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 yum, 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 yum. Oh, that fox was so happy. Because he had a nice lunch. He was going to open up his mouth to burp, but he didn't open up his mouth to burp. He opened up his mouth, and do you know what happened? Sky is so blue. Who is singing this? Sun is so yellow. I don't like singing. Trees are so green. And I'm a happy fellow. Peep, 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 peep. Well, the fox was singing and skipping and skipping and singing all the way through the forest until he met a wolf. And the wolf said, hey, please be quiet. I have a headache and your singing is making it worse. Well, the fox wanted to say, oh, yes, of course, I'll be quiet. But all he could say was, sky so blue. What? Sunny so yellow. Hey, be quiet. Trees are so green. And I'm a happy fellow. Peep, 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 peep. Um, 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 um. Oh, tastes like chicken. Peep, 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 peep. And the wolf was singing and skipping and skipping and singing until he tripped over a rock. He went, kaboom, except it was not a rock. It was a great big bear. And the bear said, hey, watch where you're going. Peep. What did you say? Peep. No, peep. Who's saying it? Hey. <laughs> You're a wolf. Wolves don't say peep. Stop saying peep. Peep. One more peep out of you, and I will eat you up. Peep. Mom. And then do you know what happened? Peep, 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 peep. The bear was singing and skipping and skipping and singing all the way through the forest until he hit a tree and went kablam, flying through the air. And he landed kaboom out of his mouth came the wolf who landed kaboom out of his mouth came the fox who landed kaboom out of his mouth came the singing chick. Come on, you stand up, okay. And then the fox and the wolf, I really wanna do something about the bottom of my screen. Do, do, do. What happens if I do this? Nothing, okay. And the fox, the wolf, and the bear were all so happy not to be singing the peep, peep, peep song. They gave the singing chick a little hug, 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 hug. And they gave him a little kiss. And then they took him all the way back to the farm where they introduced him to his papa, the rooster, and his mama, the opera singing hen and they all lived happily ever after the end <laughs> that is a story that's a real book you know it's called the singing chick and i had the name of the author right on the tip of my tongue and it's gone the name not my tongue my tongue is still here 
Oh boy. It's getting very warm. I hope you're nice and cool. Hey, would you like to see how some of it works from the backstage part of it? Look, you can see over my shoulder. Yeah, let's see if we can do, not this one, not that one. Oh, this one about the guy named Jack. Yeah, I told you there were a lot of them about Jack. Let's see, do I have everything? Get all the things set. Gonna work. That'll work. All right. You know, <laughs> Jack Horner. That's like little Jack Horner. I mean, sat in a corner eating a holiday pie. So yeah, he poked in his he poked in his thumb and pulled out a Pokemon. But a lot of people think this is a Pikachu type Pokemon, but it's not a Pikachu type. It's one called Peek a Boo. Pika Pika, Pika Boo, Pika Pika, Pika Boo, Pika Pika. No, that's not how it goes. Let me try this again. I'm sorry. Let me see. Da -da 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 -da. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating a holiday pie. He poked in his finger and pulled out an opera singer. Oh, uh, no, I'm not the right one for this, so I'm going to go now. Okay, bye. No, all right. That's, she's right. It's not the right one for this. To do. Hmm. Oh, 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 here we go. Let's see here. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating a holiday pie. He stuck in his elbow and then he pulled out what the heck? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the right one. Get out of it. No, get in there. Get in the pie. That's not the right one. Uh, that's wrong. And kids, that's also copyright infringement. Don't do that. Let's see here. Mm. Oh, 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 here it is. I think I remember it goes, little Jack Horner sat in the corner, blah, 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 pie. Open up pie. There we go. He stuck, he stuck in his thumb. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out. Ah -ah. On behalf of the Pie Association, we'd like to ask you to please stop poking in the pie. Hey, aren't you, don't you know you're not supposed to play with your food? Don't play with your food, just eat it. Poke, 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 no, don't poke me. Poke, 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 I don't like it when you poke me. Poke, 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 stop that poking. I am not gonna get in a big fight about it. I am just gonna leave. Hmm, taking the pie with me though. How do you like them apples? Yeah, that's how it goes. The end. <laughs> And you'll be happy to know that I've put the Jack puppet aside into the pack because there's no more ones about the guy named Jack. Happy now? Okay, don't worry, no more. <laughs> okay. Here, boy, here, boy. <laughs> There's a good puppy. Now, puppy, I want you to sit down. What? I said sit down. <laughs> okay, good boy. Now I'm going to get you a treat, but you guys stay right there. I want you to stay. Stay. I said stay. La 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 la. I said stay. What the? Yeah. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone, but when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and so the poor dog had none. Well, I'm sorry there's no bones for you today. What? Oh. She went to the baker's to buy him some bread, but when she came back, the poor dog was sad. Oh, I'm so sad. Give me a bone. I'm going to cry like a baby if you don't no bone. No, don't worry. I'm not really crying. I was just acting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exit stage right. Bing. Wait. Hey, come on now. Oh, you cuckoo dog. She went to the market to buy him some fruit. And when she came back, that dog was playing a flute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bing! What? No, hey, come on. Just... Where in the world did he get a flute from? 
she went to the market to buy him a wig. And when she came back, he was dancing the jig. Diddly, 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 diddly. Hey, I'm the Lord of the Dance. Thank you. I think he's more like the Lord of the Silly Heads, if you ask me there. Sorry, I was blocking the camera. She went to the market to buy him a coat. When she came back, he was riding on a yee-haw. Oh, my goodness. She went to the market to buy him a hat. And when she came back, he was feeding. Okay, kitty, open up a tunnel because here comes a choo-choo train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Woo, woo. Okay, kitty, say ah. Meow. No, no, no. Say ah. Meow. Kitty, it's so simple, please. Open up, say ah. Meow. Well, I guess that's good enough. Bleh. She went to the market to buy some pantyhose. And when she came back, that dog was dressed up in her clothes. The dame made a curtsy and the dog made a bow. The dame said, your servant. And the dog said, bow, wow. <laughs> Woo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think I have one more piece that I'd like to share with you. Lights. 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 But before I get to this last piece, I want to say uh, what a great pleasure it was to perform today. I like performing. If, uh, if I have absolutely nobody watching me, then it's just a rehearsal, and I don't like that. So I got, I had a little tiny, teeny audience, and that was good. And we're going to put this up on YouTube. But thanks to the library for inviting me, and I hope you like it. And remember, I'm available for birthday parties. That's the moral of the story. So, uh, you know, nappiespuppets.com. That's enough. I won't go farther with the, with the plugs. Uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now for a very exciting piece that I wonder how we will go. <laughs> no, I gotta clean up for it. Hold on. La, 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 la. Clean up, clean up, clean up. What went there? I don't need that. Okay. Clean up. And then I want this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Oh, I want all of the good ones. Here we go. This show's got all of the good ones. <clears throat> all right. So we go like this. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady. And once upon a time, there was a little old man and they were kind of lonely and they were very hungry. So the lady went to the kitchen to make a gingerbread man. And when she put the gingerbread man into the oven, the whole house smelled delicious. And the little old man went to the kitchen to see, you know, uh, just open up the oven just a little bit to see when he'd be ready. And out jumped the gingerbread man. And the little old lady came running out of the kitchen and she said, gingerbread man, you get back in that oven. You are not done cooking yet. And the little old man said, never mind the oven. Get in my belly. I want to eat you up. And the gingerbread man, well, he said, stand up, lady. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. Quick, let's catch him because I want to eat him. Oh, yes, I'd like to bite off his head. So the little old lady and the little old man, they were chasing after the gingerbread man who was running and running and running. Right behind them, it was the little old lady and the little old man. They were running and running and running. <laughs> they ran all the way to the fields where there was this cow and the cow stopped eating the grass and the cow said, moo, what is that delicious smell? 
<laughs> I'm a gingerbread man. I ran away from a little old lady and I can run away from you too. I can, I can run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. The cow just said, moo. I bet that gingerbread man would taste much better than grass. And so the cow eventually uh, she got turned about, but then she went and she was chasing after the gingerbread man. So if you remember, the gingerbread man was running and running and running and running. And the little old lady and the little old man, they were running and running and running. Now the cow, um, she didn't like running so much, but she had her own way to get around. <laughs> Well, they ran and they ran all the way to a school where there was a little boy and a little girl. And the girl said, what is that delicious smell? <laughs> I am a gingerbread man. <laughs> Here I am. And I can, I ran away from a little old lady and a little old man and a cow. And I can run away from you too. I can, I can run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. Wow, we better catch him. I want to eat him. Yeah, I want to bite off his head. Ah. So then it was like a parade, you see. There's a gingerbread man. What, what he was running, but where he's not. Oh, here he comes now. Running and running and running. And the little old lady and the little old man they were running and running and running. And the cow, oh, she was nice enough to give the little boy and the little girl a ride. Well, they ran and they ran all the way to a river. And it looked something like this. The gingerbread man came onto the scene and said, Oh, no, how will I ever get across this river? And then do you know who showed up? Uh -huh. Yeah, it was a fox who said, gingerbread man, why don't you jump onto my back? I'm swimming across the river and I will carry you. Oh boy, a piggyback ride, a piggyback ride, a piggyback ride. Calm down, please. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's back and the fox jumped into the water and began to swim. He swam and he swam farther and farther away from the shore until they're at the deepest part of the water. Yes, and then the fox said, oh, gingerbread man, I'm getting tired and don't think I can keep you out of the water, but I can't get wet. Well, then you should jump to my tail. Okay, ah. and then he said, no, I don't think I can keep my tail out of the water. Well, I can't get wet. Well, then you should jump onto my head. Okay, ah. and then he said, no, ow, ee. Ooh, you're stepping onto my ears. Please jump to the tip of my nose. Really? Oh, it's a very good idea, I think. So the gingerbread man jumped high, high into the air. And he came down, 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 right into the fox's mouth. Who was so happy to have such a tasty snack. The end. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. That is the ending of the show. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope that you liked it, and I hope that I get to see you again sometime. But for now, I will say, see you later, alligators. Bye-bye.